All right. Hello, YouTube. Today, we're going to be doing some more Pokemon battles. Um, we're going to do one more set of Series 7 battles. I know Series 8 is just a few days away, but I would like to do um, at least one more set of Series 7 battles because this is going to be a special team. It's going to be my Players' Cup 3 team revamp. Um, before we actually uh, start the battles, I would just like to say I haven't been streaming on Twitch too much because of internet issues. So, um, I actually also haven't really been doing as much Pokemon battles other than Players' Cup 3. And with Series 8 being announced, I've been a bit more focused on that. Um, creating a team for it. Um, Series 8, you know, I hope to be doing more Pokemon battle videos because the format will allow one restricted legendary. So I could use a team I've already made using Dialga in the future, as well as using other teams. Um, I've seen a lot of different rental teams, and I think it'll just be fun because like each video is like you know trying out like a different legendary, and there's multiple ways to like use them and how you complement them with whatever Pokemon you build around them. So Series Eight will be really cool, but Series Seven, you know, been a very fun series. And the team you see right here is my Players Cup 3 team. Uh, I unfortunately did not qualify. I went 26 and 19, um, a record I'm pretty happy with. The 26 wins is nice. It's just more so like it sucks to lose 19 times. So like I felt like I did a good job winning, but then I had to like not lose as much as I did if I wanted to qualify. But I still had a lot of fun and I had a lot of like good battles. This team was based off this Japanese team that used Spectre Air and Grimmsnarl. Um, it's, it's like this damage reduction by setting up your screens and you have Spectre Air leading with the Grimmsnarl to do even more damage reduction with Snarl. Um, this Spectre Air is actually also supposed to have Will-O-Wisp, but my Spectre Air is a bit more of like mixture of offensive and support because I gave it Mudshot for Max Quake if I do Dynamax and the will o -Wisp ends up going to Dragapult instead. So Dragapult was actually the Pokemon on this team that I felt like didn't really belong here as much. Um, usually I think the normal team I saw instead of Tapu Fini they had Nihiligo and instead of Dragapult, they had like Landorus for more physical offense. Um, I kind of just like said, ah, I don't have to worry about physical offense as much. Like, I won't have to worry about getting burned or intimidates as much if I just have like another support. As well as I always felt like I would miss my Will-O-Wisp with my Spectre Air, but I gave it to Dragapult because I just needed like another move. And Dragapult actually did not miss Will-O-Wisp when I was using it in the tournament, so... Um, Spoilers, like my Spectre Air and my new revamp team will have the Will-O-Wisp. But, you know, it was a fun team. I saw the flaws, but I tried it out, and I'm still happy I got 26 wins with it. But, yeah, so this was the team I used in Players' Cup 3, and I want to make this video of, like, showing me using, like, a revamped version of my team, and we'll just see how we do in Lather. So my revamped ver version of the team, pretty similar. The only thing that's different is... Um, Spectre Air now has Will-O-Wisp instead of Mudshot, so it is a bit more, um, what's it called? It's a bit more, like, true support, um, not as strong Dynamax now, but it could uh, do more support. Hopefully we don't miss any Will-O-Wisp if we use it. And then, instead of Dragapult, we actually added Garchomp. So, I didn't want to add Landorus, which, like, would be nice because of Intimidate, but something I liked about... Dragapult was using Breaking Swipe, especially against Regigigas, because Intimidate really wouldn't work out against Regigigas because of the Weezing pairing, um, stopping abilities, but because Dragapult was just super fast, I'd always get off a of Breaking Swipe. So my plan here on this team is, if Spectre has the will o -Wisp, our other mon that we add, um, Garchomp, uh, will still be able to be super fast with a Choice Scarf and use Breaking Swipe on Regigigas, or just like faster Pokemon than it, as well as if we're not going for Breaking Swipe, we just have some more physical power. Earthquake, Rock Slide, Iron Head. Um, it is choice, and I've only tried it out on Showdown, and last time I said I used the team on Showdown and it went well, it didn't go as well on Ladder, but <laughs> we'll just see how we do here. Uh, the rest of the team is the same as it was before, but, you know, 
Same same strat for the most part. Garchomp isn't the star, so hopefully I'll use Garchomp in these battles that we do in a bit. But main stars are really like Grim Snarl, um, setting up screens, damage reduction, and Celesteela, like getting super strong by um, boosting up its stats by getting um, kills as well as using Max Steel Spike. Celesteela is use usually the Dynamax option in this team. So yeah. Um, that's pretty much like the changes to the team. So we're going to try it out. I've only used the revamp version on Showdown like a few weeks ago or like a bit after Players Cup 3 ended. So we'll see how we do here. Okay, so I actually have a pretty good rating right now. I've, Like I said, I haven't really been playing too much, but considering when I got into Master Ball, I had like less wins than losses. Like I've been doing a pretty good job in Masters and I was primarily using the the team with the Dragapult. So even with the flaws, like the team is still doing well on ladder. So I'm hoping Garchomp could be a bit better. But of course, you know, now we're a bit higher in ladder. It's it's probably gonna go down since I haven't played in a bit. But you know, we might go against some pretty tough opponents. And even if we go against someone who's not like as high rank, like some people are still pretty tough in Master Ball tier. So let's go ahead and use the team. I'm not gonna show the team info if you would like the team info. Um it was there in the beginning of the video, as well as you can take the rental code. It'll probably be there for a while. Okay, so 1583. We'll see. I don't know how many battles I'm going to do in this video, but, you know, maybe we could break top 1000 here. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. I just realized I forgot to put the salt vest back on my Celesteela. My bad. My bad about that. I didn't, I didn't even realize. Okay, so if you actually rent the team... Um, my Celesteela won't have, <laughs> my Celesteela won't have the Assault Vest. It's because I took it away. So you can see some other Pokemon I have over here that I may be using. Primarina will be part of my Dialga team in the future. All right, let me go ahead and make a new code for, um, for my new team. I didn't even realize my Celesteela didn't have its, its Assault Vest. I never really like buying like multiple. I just like go ahead and use the same one, just share it around. Okay, so don't make public and then we'll just use this slot. The other teams I've shared are just like other teams I made before. Like the one to the right right now is like a series six team I made and someone wanted to use it while I was streaming once. Okay. Oh. I don't really have to make it public, but I might as well. For the time being. Uh, later on, like, these slots will probably be filled with, like, whatever I use in Series 8. But I usually just, like, take away the least recent, or the oldest team, I guess. That's a better way to say it. Oh, shoot. I need to show the code. But yeah, I usually just, like, get rid of, like, the oldest team, and then I put in a new team if I'm trying to share it with anyone. Okay, so this was the code 00000008YVYYB. I'll have both codes, both for this team and the non revamped team, um, in the description below. Okay, now we can do some rank battles. 1583. Maybe we'll gain a rank. I think it's always funny when I gain a rank after like not playing a game. Like I just check rank and then I go again. No, we didn't gain anything. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right. Here's the team. And yeah, it's been a while since I've actually used this team in battle. But we'll try our best. Main thing I want to do is showcase like what I was primarily doing in Players Cup 3. Ooh, 1554, pretty close. All right. Ooh, so one of the hardest things I fought in Players Cup 3 was actually just the pairing of Incineroar and Regia Lucky. I always thought Incineroar wouldn't be that big of a deal because I don't have Intimidate and stuff, or I don't have as much physical mons, but it was always pretty hard for me to fight um, Incineroar and Regia Lucky. Just because of light screen damage reduction. Glastriere wasn't really that big of a deal because I had like Celesteel and Rotom. Um, I think what I'm going to do here 
is I'm going to... I'm going to start Celesteela. Oh, but they have a Cinderace here as well. I think I want to start Celesteela and Grimmsnarl. But I'll have Garchomp in the back. Because I think if they lead Incineroar, Regia, Lucky, um, they might Volt Switch my Celesteela and like fake out my um, Grimmsnarl. But I always bring in Celesteela and Rotom when they have Glass Strayers, so it's like not that big of a deal for me. The big thing, the scary thing here is like the Cinderace, because I, I don't know. Like Cinderace can always be kind of scary when I don't have an Intimidate myself. All right, we'll go with this and see how we do. Oh my gosh, I almost didn't press. Okay. Also, I don't have my webcam today, obviously. So now you're able to see the, the team on the left. Like, I didn't have to, like, I didn't have to forget to move my webcam. Alright, let's see how this goes. I don't know which Pokemon. Oh, it's Incineroar and Cinderace. Okay. You're probably just going to Max Flare. Right? I think you're just going to Max Flare. Um, I really want to stall the Dynamax. I'm going to switch into Rotom early. And I'm, I, I think I'm going to get hit by Fake Out. I think we could actually switch Garchomp. We could just do a double switch. Um, because I don't think... like I, th I feel like Garchomp getting hit by Fake Out shouldn't be that big of a deal. I think the main problem is if they doubled the Grimmsnarl. But I don't think they would do that. I think you just have to go for the Celesteela. Because if you don't, like, I could hit you with, like, a max rock fall. So that's my logic here. Because if I didn't switch, I would just, you know, max rock fall the Cinderace. It's probably going to be a fire type or a flying type. Unless, of course, it goes for max knuckle first on Grimmsnarl. Alright, let's see. Okay, they do turn one Dynamax. G Max Cinderace. Very cool mon. I would love to use Cinderace again. It's one of my favorite mons. But, like, a lot of times I just end up using something else. Okay, fake out. Yep. Alright, now I'll, where are you going? I really have to go. I, I have to hope you're going for, like, G Max Pyroball. Max Steel Spike. So they were going for. Ooh, I might lose my Garchomp here. Oh, I lived. Okay, we're good. We're good. So here's the good thing. We're scarfed right now. So Earthquake uh, will be really fast. Uh, you do have your defense up, though. That's the bad thing here. I may actually... As much as I would like to hit them with super effective moves, the fact that they boosted their defense... um, It's not really like... I think I can ask to apply there. The fact that they boosted their defense, um, I'm not going to end up killing them. So I might as well just go for a breaking swipe with Scarf. And I just want to like reduce their attack damage. Because I'm not going to kill them here. So there's no real point for me to try and go for a kill or just do more damage. I'd rather um, decrease their attack. Max Darkness. Okay. Oh, they're probably going for Rotom now. So Rotom might die here. I didn't mean to say die because I also remembered that I lowered its attack anyway. I meant to say like it might um, take a good amount of damage, but that was actually like not that bad. Okay, the big question is, what are you doing here? Parting shot. Okay, yeah, I expected that, but we're at least up one, so it's like not that big of a deal. Uh, the big question is, do I Dynamax my Rotom? I'm going to go for Breaking Swipe again. So, like, the Cinderace won't be, like, that big of a deal to me. Tapu Fini. Okay. I think we're just going to go ahead and attack the Fini. 
It's probably going to protect. Um, or special attack up one. I have no idea what the Cinderace is going to be. Um, I think the Feeny is just going to go ahead and protect. I'm going to go ahead and max Lightning. The... Hmm... I mean, I'm not that... Oh, you, it's. I think it's mostly the speed of the Cinderace that I don't like. I'm going to max Lightning the Cinderace. I'm going to Breaking Swipe again. I, I just hope that the Feeny is going to protect. I'm, I'm like assuming it will protect that I just don't have to worry about it this turn. Let's see. Who knows, maybe it will max guard. Max guard, moon blast my guard chomp, I don't know. Alright, rope tom heat, big... Oh, okay. So it didn't max. It didn't protect. So I could have done a max lightning right to it. Ma okay, so this is what I wanted. I was expecting an airstream or something, and then I hit it with max lightning. She didn't do that much damage, but I think it does get the kill anyway. And then this is bad because now Feeny's probably gonna get a muddy water off on me, and I was hit with max darkness. So that's the part that I don't like about this. Oh, <gasps> did that just kill? No. Okay, I wasn't expecting to die. That was the that was the big difference. I just wasn't expecting to die. Uh, I was really reading. I guess I could have just protected that. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have just max. That's hard. They they made their finny like fast. Ooh. Okay. So the. The Grimms, not not the Grimms, no, but the Cinderace isn't like that scary here, in my opinion. Your, your attack is down twice. Light screen. But now I just lost my max for nothing. That's like what's really bad about this situation. I lost my max for nothing. Alright, I don't really know if I can win this one. They played it well. Yeah, and then they just have to like get their Cinderace back. And now it doesn't really matter. I think we lose this one. Man. Oh, and they protected? Okay, we're just gonna quit this one. I, I just don't see myself winning this one, unfortunately. They played it well. Alright, quit, quit, quit. GG's, GG's. So some matches were similar to this in Players' Cup 3. Like, in my opinion, I felt like the thing that was always scary was Incineroar. Um, I personally felt like I downplayed how much of a threat it would be against my team. Because um, I would be like, oh, you know, it can't really intimidate most of my mons anyway. Or like, I don't really have to like think about it too much. But... You know, Incineroar is just a really good mod. Parting shot, fake out. Uh, in there, Incineroar wasn't really, like, the biggest threat, but, like, just the fact that I was thinking about the fake out in the beginning um, made me change up some stuff. But it's okay, it's okay. Right, let's try one of the next ones. A stole top 2000. Pretty good record, by the way, still. Oh, yeah, like I said, I went 26 and 19. So this is like kind of a similar record, you know, like seven wins above. But that was one thing like I noticed with my, um, what's it called? With my um, Players Cup 3 performance versus how I do in rank. Like I felt like I was still getting wins just similar to rank, but I still get a decent amount of losses. Like I wasn't making the gap that big. So that's like what I got to work on. Like I got to be a better player. Um to like make that gap different. So I feel like this is Parish Song with Colossal. Uh, my answer for Colossal before was always Spectrare with Mudshot, but now I don't have that. Um, we do have Garchomp, but Colossal has more physical defense. Ooh, this is gonna be kinda rough. Tapu Fini is still just good against Colossal anyway. Tapu Fini is like the star here, in my opinion. Um, 
But Amoongus is also there. Shoot, how do I want to do this? I think I'm going to lead Feeny, Grimmsnarl, Rotom. What if they Perish Song early, though? That'd be really bad. Oh, shoot. We're going to leave it like this anyway. So unfortunately, Garchomp's not in this one. I'm not really too confident about this lead. I was thinking about like all their options and stuff. Feeny does seem like a really good Mon here. I just don't know if I wanted to lead it. But I didn't know how they were going to lead. They could lead Parish Song. Um, Parish Trap style. Or they could lead Colossal. Okay, so it is Colossal. So... I don't know if they're going to... What's it called? Switch out the Colossal. No matter what, I think I have to light screen here. Uh, then I'll be able to survive. Uh, one of the hardest things here is if they just switch to Amoongus. Um, I don't know if they're going to switch. This is always one of the hardest things about Pokemon. Like Sometimes you have to read the switch. Like Here they could be like, ha... Huh. I'm just going to switch anyway, but some people, they just don't switch, right? Like, they could switch into their Amoongus right now. Some people don't switch. But the thing is, like, it's a big thing. If I, if I assume they're going to switch, and then I don't Dynamax, like, that could be the end of me. That, that could legit just be, like, the end for me. Because I don't think I'm going to survive a... Okay, they did switch, yeah. Is this Amoongus? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, at least we're still doing damage. Like, that's one thing I do like. And then they're gonna Perish Song. Uh, so, see, this is like... It's hard. Like, as much as I wanted to not Dynamax turn 1, if I just got hit with a Max Overgrowth, <laughs> that's also just like, oh, well, that's unfortunate. Like... That's one of the hard things about this. And I feel like one of the best things to do is just like, if you make a really good team where that doesn't really matter. I was honestly thinking of Amoongus more, but uh, it does make sense that you could just switch into your Parish Trap style. They're going to Parish Song here. I can't switch. Yeah. Well, this is unfortunate. These are pretty hard battles to start with. I don't think I actually won against a Parish Song team during Players Cup 3. Um, they're probably just going to protect. I don't really ha Yeah, this is kind of tough now. Uh, I just really didn't want to die to a Max Overgrowth. Because if I did, then I had nothing else for, for Colossal. Like, I was kind of just done there. Hmm. I mean, you're probably just going to protect. And I'm not allowed to... Switch. I'm going to fake tears the Primarina just in case. Because um, I don't want to... Yeah, I don't I don't want to go for Gothio if it's going to protect. Primarina might also protect, though. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, maybe I should have done fake tears. Well, I didn't want to double. That was the main thing. It's probably just going to Moonblast Grimmsnarl. I actually think it's going to go ahead and switch out Pre-Marina this next turn. So it doesn't have to worry about the Paris Song. So this is what I'm going to do. Because I assume you're going to be switching out your Mons and stuff. I'm going to Max Geyser the Pre-Marina. Hoping it will switch out to Colossal. Because you got hit with Fake Tears. It could also just protect this turn. I'm going to I'm gonna Fake Tears again, just in case it's not Colossal. Or... Oh, okay, they, they withdrew. What's it going to be? Colossal? Oh, Amoongus. Okay, well, at least we're, like, you know, doing Fake Tears. We're doing damage to it. Ally Switch. Man, we are getting some tough opponents to start. 
I only meant to... I said I didn't know how many battles I was going to do. I was like, going to say maybe we'll just do two, but... These first two battles are kind of rough. Okay, at least we get rid of you. But now we have to switch. So you still have a pre-marine and colossal. That's the hard part. Like, we're just kind of screwed there. But I need Feeny alive. For a colossal. You're going to... Okay, I already know what you're doing. You're going to go ahead and... What's it called? You're just going to Rage Powder... I don't even know. Maybe Colossal might just attack already. I'm going to bring in Celesteel first. Uh, we we have to fake tears. I'm going to fake tears Colossal, but if you just Rage Powder, you know, we'll switch. I'm going to bring a Celesteel first because I want them to end up max flaring it. So, when the max flare is up, I can use Rotom a bit better against the Mungus. Oh, they might just switch here, too. They might just get their Primarine out. Uh, this Colossal is going to be hard to beat. This is actually a really good um, core, in my opinion. A Mungus, Primarina, and Colossal. Yeah, you're just going to switch, so... Maybe I should have read the switch and just max starfalled. Hmm, yeah, maybe that would have been a good play. I didn't think they would switch until later. If I just like read the switch and then like max starfalled the pre marina, like that wouldn't have been that bad. Or if I just went ahead and attacked the colossal anyway, that would have also been good. Okay, well at least you're hit with fake tears. The bad thing is um G Max Vocal Life. The bad thing is, you know, I I just lost my Dynamax Mon and stuff. So you're gonna hit me with Max Flare later on, but the good thing is, there is a rain for a bit. So hooray for that. You might go for Max Overgrowth instead as well. What am I going to do here? I think we just have to try our best to kill the Colossal. Oh my gosh, this Primarina could still use Parish Song as well. Do I survive? You're going to... Are you going to Max Flare? I think you have to Max Flare, right? I feel like Max Flare would be the smartest thing to do. And you're not going to Max Overgrowth. I still feel like I just got a Mighty Water. Ah, oh, this is hard. Colossal is hard. I tried... Um, I was thinking about using Colossal myself with my Player's Cup 3 team. I was actually going to have, instead of Rotom, a Colossal. And then I had Dragapult. But I felt like so many people just like knew about it that I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> like, it's a good core, but I just felt like because so many people pre prepared for it in Player's Cup 3, um, it wasn't like going to be fun to use. Okay, I do Max Flare. So my Muddy Water won't be as strong. And that, and, but we're like, you know, stalling a bit. Wait, you avoided, oh, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> there we go, there we go, there we go. It was just pre-Marina who avoided it. Um, my, I don't, my Rotom and Tapu Fini should both be faster. Oh, that's right. You're down two for special defense. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and Thunderbolt here. And I am going to... Ooh. I think we Moonblast. I think we just double the Colossal to make sure we're going to get it. I don't know what you're going to go for. You could go for Max Overgrowth. You could go for Max uh, Vocalith again. Uh, I don't want to Muddy Water because I could miss. But Moonblast, you know, if you're down two, it should be enough. Okay, they do go for Otom. I didn't know who they were going to go for, so. <gasps> they went for Feeny. 
Did they think I was going to ally switch? Did they think I was going to... No, you have ally switch. I don't have ally switch, man. Wow. All right, we might still be able to win this. We have Cell Steel in the back still as well. Um, Cell Steel has um, Flamethrower. So that's really good. Feeny. Feeny lived. Oh my gosh. Nice. All right. So now we're 3 2. We, this Vocalith is hurting us, though. So that sucks. Um, as much as I would like to Thunderbolt the Amoongus, I, I just like, I just have to think about Rage Powder, so I'm just going to go ahead and go for Max Flares. We still have Cell Steel anyway. For, uh, if I'm getting hit with Vocalith, I think I just have to attack. But yeah, we still have Cell Steel for the Amoongus, in case we miss. Or, like, just don't kill it. Okay, you protected. What are you going for? Oh, is the Misty Terrain gone? That'd be, that's not good. Okay, that's good. You're sashed. <laughs> Moonblast. Are you going to put one of my Pokemon to sleep? Oh, it, yeah, it doesn't matter. I have safety goggles. <laughs> but Misty Terrain is gone, right? Okay, Feeny is still alive. Uh, now we could Thunderbolt, just because of the fact... I know my special attack is down, like, two. But if they Rage Powder, um, you know, I'll kill you anyway. If they... How long is Vocalith? If they don't Rage Powder, like, Premium can't protect still, so... Oh, Vocalith is gone. Oh, cool. Wait, I might just protect her. Yeah, I'm just going to protect my Paris song as well, so. Actually, I don't know when the proper time the Paris song is. Because I don't I don't really play Paris Trap teams. <gasps> I forgot about Aqua Jet. Oh, that did like nothing. <laughs> this shouldn't kill. Yeah, you're, you're pretty bulky. My light screen wore off. Okay. Well, now I'm going to Thunderbolt you. I'm going to Moonblast you. <laughs> I really do like um, using my Tapu Fini just because I'm not using like normal 252, 252 like EV spreads. I'm using like one of the more popular ones that are a bit more specific and I feel like it really does a good job like helping Feeny properly live like just the fact that a while ago we survived um which is a little bit of HP and even right now we have 7 HP like we're using the bulk well we didn't even use calm mind this turn or like this game so I've been pretty happy with uh the team um, honestly, in this situation, I felt like they just messed up when they went for Vocalith on Feeny. But, like, we've done a really good job. Ooh, they have a berry. Like, I just feel like we've done a really good job. Okay, they might perish song. They might perish song in a bit. But I'll have two Pokemon. I don't think you could protect like forever. Man, one of my favorite Pokemon, Pre Marina, is our enemy in this situation. Um, I don't know if I want to nasty plot. I think I will just nasty plot. I mean, if you kill it, that means you're not Paris using a Paris song. I'm gonna flash cannon here. Hopefully, I'm like playing this right. Aqua Jet. Okay. So, okay, here's the bad thing now. Now that I did Nasty Plot, like, all it takes is for you to do an Aqua Jet to, like, actually, like, kill my Rotom. The question is, when are you going to... Are you, like, are you going to Aqua Jet this turn? Like, will you read that I will just protect? I don't know. But Solosteela should be able to do enough damage here. And then you shouldn't be able to kill Solosteela. 
Yeah, Aqua Jet. So, you know, this one was kind of tough. I felt like it kind of sucked that I had to Dynamax turn one and put me in a bad spot. But, you know, we were able to pull it off. I still think they just made a misplay. On oh, oh, they DC'd. Oh. <laughs> I still think they just made a misplay on their end. Assume I think they really were just breathing. I was going to ally switch. That's my opinion. Um, if you think there was another reason they did that, you know, let me know. But, um, uh, yeah. So, that's my team. Congratulations, Garchomp. Even though you weren't in that game, you now get a ribbon. Um, I'm actually just gonna end it there, you know? Let's just do two battles. One tough loss, where I gotta show you one of the Pokemon that usually wrecked my team in Cinderor. And us doing a pretty good job. Kind of, I guess. I, th I think we did okay, and then, like, they just, like I said, they misplayed. So, um, I'm gonna just do two battles, so the video's not too long this time. Last time I did, like, four battles. So. Alright, so 1,606. I don't really know if I'm gonna do more battles, like, on my own. I'll let you know, like, I'm not that interested in Series 7 anymore. I'm a bit more focused on Series 8. But, yeah. You know, um, some closing thoughts on the team, though. Let me, let me get my team up again. Communicating. So we went against a guy who wrecked us, and then we went against a guy who just rage quit at then. Funny. Um, just, just to look at the team again. Pretty much, uh, if you ever want to use this team... Like I said, it's based off this damage reduction team of Spectrare and Grimstarl. Um, just like reducing damage right away. It's really nice against people who like Dynamax Lapras turn one. Or people who just Dynamax right away in general. Um, last game it was me. but A lot of times I did feel like I was leading Grimstarl Celesteela. Because I would just... I would usually... Um, mitigate damage with Grimstarl. And then Celesteela was like just super bulky. And it's uh, um, moves of Flash Cannon, Air Slash, you know, Max Steel Spike, Max Air Stream, Max Rock Fall, Max Flare. Like, it was able to cover a lot of things that just, it was okay for me to turn one Dynamax against a lot of things. That's why things like Incineroar and Reggie Lucky, when they themselves were trying to uh, stop my own damage, um, that's where I had trouble with, personally. I felt like this team is really good against teams where... People are just making, like, the obvious plays, like, like I said, like, if that person we just went against did turn one Dynamax Colossal and into Aqua Jet, um, and to Colossal, I felt like this, like, game would have been a lot easier, but usually when people, like, you know, actually don't just turn one Dynamax, they're Regigigas, things like that, um, you know, it becomes a bit harder, but it's still possible to win. But, yeah, so we didn't even use Spectre Air at all um, in these battles. But now we can say that there was no Will-O-Wisp missed. But, yeah, Solsteel's the big star. Tapu is just, like, a good mon to have, with Colossal being popular. Um, Glare and Moltres. And then Garchomp, pretty much for the most part, it usually is there. Uh, at least the way I'm using it is to get a Breaking Swipe in against, um, against like, Mons... Against, like, strong, fast, physical mons. Um, and other than that, I would just be switching it out for, like, Earthquake. And occasionally Iron Head at times. But yeah, that's the team. Hope you guys enjoyed. And next time I do Pokemon Battles, we'll be doing Series 8. Dialga is waiting for you. Alright, peace out. Have a good rest of your day.